anything well. This is a touch of tarot. All my info is below if you want to book a reading. Let's get right into your collective reading. And I'm getting five cards to start with. We will then clarify them. Feel free to join my Patreon. There won't be a collective for this on there, but there, I mean, um, sorry, an extended. There won't be an extended for this reading, but there's lots of videos on there. Wow, so something. Okay, so we take something great's gonna happen here, Cancer, with the Empress and the High Priestess. I feel like it's probably a little bit of um, unknown information. We have your energy here at the bottom. Okay, Cancer, something's going on, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I am seeing here. I am seeing that you have walked away or isolated yourself. You're taking some time away, possibly, like, I'm seeing a camping ground. Isn't that interesting? Maybe literally you're doing that. Maybe you decided to go into nature to ground. Um, this is to make a big decision, though, and the weird thing I'm getting here is that this decision is not really from your heart, it's from your gut feeling. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for your gut feeling to make a decision here because you want to make sure that everyone involved in whatever this is, is like still um, touched by the light type of energy, is still that you're still there for everyone. You may be a spiritual mentor or someone who is like a leader. Um, but you had to step away from a situation. You may have been in a third party situation is really what I get here, but I'm getting even more like you may have been kind of letting yourself get loose or something like that. Like maybe partying, celebrating, overindulging in things. And even what I see is separating yourself from a very special connection, um, Though you may have still had this person in your circle, I see that there was someone in between the two of you and there was a choice that needed to be made. So this may be why you stepped away. Okay, it's almost like you were trying to figure out who you want to be with, who you want to start something new with here with the two of wands next, taking it to the next step. So making a bold and ambitious choice, partnering with Others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. And we have that world um, energy here in that two of wands as well. So I see that there's someone here that you actually have a lot in common with and you have something that's a very good match. But there was someone in between. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. The Wise Council. Unity with the spiritual minded community. I feel like you want to be with that spiritual minded person that's like in your way. Okay. Someone you have some sort of a great connection to. Um, let me show you that card. So you see what I'm talking about. See the two blue people. They have halos around their head. But there's this girl with the red in the middle. And I'm not saying the girl with the red in the middle is bad, but I'm saying that the two people with the halos are supposed to be together. Um, they're supposed to be divinely together. And, you know, I think you had a choice to make, but you didn't want to affect anyone. Everyone looks happy here, right? You wanted to make sure it was um, the wisest. And yeah, with the wise counsel, like you may be a counselor, a spiritual mentor. You wanted to make sure it's the wisest, most caring decision. You have two mother energies here, Cancer. That is you. Okay. And like I said, you wanted to make sure everyone involved in whatever this decision is happy. Um, so this is also about a new beginning with something that you want, with a dream that you have. And it's going to be uh, very abundant and prosperous. But let's see what else we have here coming up. Yeah, there's something great coming. It's definitely going to lead to um, possibly a child, you know, with the Empress. You're going to possibly be coming back together with someone. And remember I said there's that unexpected high priestess energy, Eight of Wands. So someone is really with the Queen of, um, sorry, with your energy, Queen of Cups and the Hermit here again. You are really taking a deep look 
that is balanced, very, very balanced. Okay, so let's clarify and see what else is coming up here. It's really interesting. The Hermit for Cancer. Oh, came up quick. Okay, yeah, you're not. Okay, never mind. The Three of Cups, please. Which, by the way, is also related to the Sun card here. We have the Two of Wands. Okay, wow. Interesting. And the Wise Council. The Empress. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, great. So, you definitely um, stepped away from possibly a group. I was going to say collective group, but you stepped away to really take a look, to take your power back possibly. You probably are a leader, like I said, a spiritual counselor of some sort or just like the wise counselor. Um, so it's not really to take your power back. It's to assess, to figure out what you're going to do. Now, I said there was a third party. And look, at here is the girl in the red dress. Now, this may be someone that you are possibly married to because the Eight of Swords with me um, is, is an unhappy marriage. But it's also someone like you were tied to in some way or another mentally. And maybe you couldn't or the other person couldn't see a way out. But it looks like you're actually breaking this person free out of this mental cage. This Three of Cups, like I said, has to do with the sun energy. So this is leading to happiness for all involved. Remember, that's very important to you here. With the King of Swords, I feel like you've made a fair decision. And you're going from three to two. You are starting a new foundation. It's not even a new foundation. You already have your own foundation, but you're bringing someone in, someone new in there. Okay. And there's going to be new direction taken here or new plans made here. Um, and with the wise counsel and the 10 of cups, I feel like everyone is being protected that's involved here. Like you're putting them, you're making sure they're all um, safe. Okay. Safe from the storm, safe from the turmoil, safe from anything. Okay, let's read this a little bit here for a second. So this talks about traditional methods with new ideas um, to see which is best for you. It's it's finding a new way to have your happiness. You know, what I'm getting here with that last sentence, the comparing traditional methods with new ideas is like you were tied to a situation, but you're realizing you can still take care of that situation and you can have a new beginning with something. There really is someone or some someone, I'm going to say, you want a new beginning with here. We have the Empress. And with that, having the Hermit card, that is what you had to step away to figure out. There was some sort of Empress energy here involved um, along with others. And like I said, you wanted to make sure everyone involved is okay. Um, but whatever it was that you were going in to really make this deep decision about, it involved an empress. And you had to come to a realization um, that this is something you want. This is almost a wish of yours, this person, okay? So with the Queen of Cups, which is uh, very beautiful, and I'm noticing the Ten of Cups wanting to stick out, but with the King of Wands there, this is a beautiful couple coming together. Um, very protective energy coming in for this Queen of Cups for you, Cancer. Um, very passionate energy as well. We have a king and a queen, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, we have a queen coming out again. There's one energy, and let me get the other energy. And we have the Dawn Wand, um, which is literally like the King of Wands energy. Very passionate and seductive qualities. And this person is going to treat you like the queen that you are, like the royalty that you are, the regal energy that you radiate um, with your feminine energy. This person is going to appreciate it. And we have that protect word here. And I think I said that, right? Like this person's going to be very protective of this connection, Cancer. And that's the female energy, okay? So like that's you as well. So you're both going to be very protective. And you're going to have a very passionate 
uh, connection or a reconnection if you feel you're reconnecting. Because I do feel, like I said, you had to make a decision involving someone here, um, involving many people. And possibly, you know, a marriage may have been involved in this with this third party. Um, and someone you really want to have a new beginning with or are hoping to be able to include into your circle is what I'm getting there. Because this person is taking a star out of the sky and putting it in the lamp, which is going to light the way. Um, so Cancer, that is your reading. That is absolutely beautiful. Like I said, if you want to join my Patreons and get to my exclusive videos, the link is below there. You can also book really quick readings on Wizio. The link is below. I, is that the lover's card? What's sticking out there? Yeah, I see the lover's card sticking out. So I just think I should share that with you. There's going to be an exchange, um, a new exchange. It's like you're passing the, the baton somewhere. Something interesting is happening with you, Cancer. Bye for now. Thank you so much.